Welcome to another edition of Buzzword Bingo. In this little article today, we go into The Little Mermaid and yet more and more responses to the dislike of the live action trailers. In this article from The Independent, Josh Gad condemns pathetic trolls over The Little Mermaid trailer backlash because, obviously, it is because bunch of racists. Josh Gad has condemned the racist backlash against the forthcoming live-action adaptation of The Little Mermaid. The Disney-produced film stars Halle Bailey, beautiful singer, in the lead role of Ariel. The 22-year-old actress casting in the role prompted an influx of online trolling. While this is true, I'll show you what the actual trolling is. It's very different from what they're claiming it is. 22-year-old actors casting in the role prompted an influx of online trolling, with the first trailer receiving over 3 million dislikes. Wow, that's a lot. Josh Gad, who starred in Disney's Frozen and the live-action adaptation of Beauty and the Beast, responded to the backlash on Twitter. Quote, imagine being so broken and pathetic in life that your chief concern is the skin color of a make-believe singing mermaid. That is the unfortunate, uh, I don't believe that is the cause, but it is the result. People are complaining that it does not look like Ariel. It is a red flag. All these changes, race changes, gender swaps, all these other things, these are red flags because what usually follows is ideological bullshit pushing a message with, to the detriment of the story. Not to mention a lot of people are complaining about the CGI in the show in the trailers being absolute dog shit. I don't have anything to compare it to. Don't really care. Bailey herself has spoken out against the backlash in the past. I've gone over this in another video. It was an inspiring and beautiful thing to hear their words of encouragement. Good. Do your thing. The problem is, in Beauty and the Beast, Gad played LaFoe, the character who... <laughs> character who has what was billed as Disney's first, quote, gay moment due to a second, a two-second dance his character shared with another man. That's what they want to push. Now, what they're pushing and pushing and pushing, claiming that the dislike for the Little Mermaid live-action trailer is nothing but racist backlash. You just don't want this. You just don't want that. No, people don't want the ideological bullshit. Now, let's do a little digging because I dig and I brought up a few trailers. Over here at the Little Mermaid, 1.2 million. This is the official Little Mermaid from six days ago as of recording. 233,000 upvotes, 1.2 million downvotes. Now, here's the racist backlash. I love the part where Vin Diesel says, Fish and chips? Nah, this is family. Chilling moment. I love the part where Frodo, Frodo hands Ariel a ring and says, Whoever saves one life saves the world entirely. I sobbed on my wife's boyfriend. See, this is fantastic. I want to say this started with the Rings of Power bullshit. The fans did not care for that one. Now, why am I bringing this up? Well, let's see. I went and looked up some recent trailers that had uh, rather black castings in them. First one, let's go to Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. 975,000 upvotes, 127,000 downvotes. Where's the racist backlash here? Huh. Interesting. I know there's another one. Let's look it up. Do 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 Wakanda Forever trailer. Let's see. Forty one million views. We'll take a look at that one. I gotta be very careful. Is that the same one, I believe? I think that is. Nope, that's the same one. So let's back it up. Crap. I'm going to figure this out. This one over here has 1.5 million upvotes. How very strange. Where's the racist backlash there? Creed 3. Let's get more recent. 189,000 up, 8,000 down. What about another trailer? 75,000 up, 2,000 down. Hmm. Now you would think all these Wakanda Forever trailers would have... If there was so much racist backlash, as Disney wants to claim, as all these moronic websites want to claim, you would think there would be a comparable ratio on all of these trailers, just like there is with The Little Mermaid. It makes you wonder. 
Black Panther's not changing anything. Creed is not changing anything. People are tired of the change, regardless of the change. They're tired of the cash grabs, the creative bankruptcy of live-action adaptation of beloved stories. All Disney has to do, re-release all your classics. That's all you have to do. And Josh Gad can go shove his head back up his ass and have no clue what's going on. Let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like. Leave a dislike. I appreciate you making it this far. Nonetheless, have a good one.